Hello and welcome to Driver's Therapy. Today's video is going to be about fixing a bent wheel and learning about the process and everything that is involved with it. Now, if you looked at our previous video, uh, I talked about the Vogue GTCs on the Supra, how I recently purchased them from a guy in New Jersey and that guy sent him over and when it got here, this is how one of the front wheels turned out. Watch it when it's spinning here, like watch the inside of the wheel. Oh yeah. See how out around it is? That's... It looks like it got curved pretty hard and then... So I got one completely unusable wheel and uh, one with a, a bit of lip damage that I knew about. But at that point in time, I wanted to go on a journey to get them fixed. So this is what this video is about, of how we fix these wheels, the process, and then we're gonna go into information to help you learn if you're in the same situation to get your wheels fixed. Okay, so let's talk about my journey fixing my wheels. So after I found out about Woody's because of the Denver Auto Intuos Facebook page, I contacted them and they told me to send the wheels. So what I did is I had to package the wheels up in boxes and then send it over. Uh, when I packaged them and shipped them off, I went ahead and sent a courtesy email to Woody's and I told them uh, what I was sending, the damage, the what happened, what I tried to do, give them a short brief story of what was wrong with the wheels just so they could have a heads up of what's going on. So I got the phone call and they said, you know what, we can't fix them. And I was like, yes. And they're like, it, one of them is pretty bad, uh, but we could do it. And the other one is very minor and we'll be able to fix that. So essentially the one that the guy scammed me for, um, which was pretty bad, they were able to fix it. And to me, I'm very grateful about that because I would have been out of luck because these GTC wheels are discontinued and it's kind of hard to find it. So I said, all right, they said it's gonna take about a week um, and they'll call me back when they're done. So I waited patiently and, uh, and then about a week later they called me and they said that they were able to get them into spec. At that point in time, I paid them uh, and here's my invoice. So, you know, roughly about 400 bucks, not bad at all. Not bad when you could be out 1600 bucks. And then they arranged to ship them back and they said it would be a two day shipping process. So UPS finally showed up and they dropped off the wheels and we were excited. We brought them inside, we started opening up. And the first thing we noticed was that Woody's took extra consideration to package them for shipping. And that was really cool of them. So as we took them out, we were on a time crunch because discount tower was about to be closed. And I wanted to get those uh, uh, wheels mounted on the super and see what happened. So we drove to discount tower, we showed up and the staff at discount tower was really cool. And they let us go back there and watch the process. As they mounted the tires on there, they went over and started to go balance them. I'm not gonna lie, I was holding my breath as the balance machine started. And then when they got when they were balancing, the machine gave the green light. And at that point in time, I was excited. So it was a great ending to a very, very long and kind of crazy uh, story. Uh, you know, when somebody out there tries to scam you or does something that's not right ethically, it's really cool that people out there are willing to help and that there's ways to fix things. So I have to be grateful for everybody involved in the process. So that was my experience with Woody's. Now let's talk about how they typically repair wheels. So I'm gonna give you a brief visualization of how places repair wheels. Now I looked from the very amateur YouTube video all the way to the professional commercial uh, manufacturer promotional video for their machines to fix it. So uh, starting off with the very basic, what happens is that this is a metal. <clears throat> And when it gets deformed or gets damaged, essentially what they wanna do a repair shop is they wanna bring it back to as close a spec as possible. Now, if you get a Coke can and you crush it, which is aluminum, and you try to fix it back up, it's kind of hard to do it, right? I mean, it's, you're gonna see the creases and lines in it. Well, most of these wheels are at some form of aluminum, some are forge, a forge material and et cetera. But essentially what they're gonna be doing is gonna be trying to reform it. Now, a lot of the times, you know, what they're gonna be doing is they're gonna, not gonna to have to fix something that's completely crushed, but they're just trying to move a certain part. And what the very bare, ma bare like amateur people do is that they get a propane like little torch and they heat the tire up, right? Wherever the damage is. 
And then at that point, once they sufficiently heat it up, then they start hitting on it. Now, guys, I, I don't like that. I mean, if that's your only resort and you don't really care about the aesthetic portion, or if you're on the road and I don't know why you would want to do that, but that's not, that's not really the best idea. But the concept is correct. So what the professionals do is they do use the same application of heat. Heat is what you need. And what happens is that when you heat up a metal, it's more malleable. You're able to reform it and form it. A good way to, to describe this to you, a visual description, is that you know in those medieval movies where they've got the swords and they're just heating it, bang, bang, bang. Well, essentially they have to heat up the metal or the iron or steel or whatever it is, and then they have to hit it to form it. Well, it's the same concept. So what, what companies do, wheel repair shops, is that they heat it and then they have to, while it's at a certain temperature, they have to put it back. Now, where the high-end shops or the high-end manufacturers or the really fancy machines, what they do is that there's a machine that holds the wheel and when you heat it up, it puts hydraulic pressure on the certain part of the wheel that's damaged and then they, um, they slowly push it back. But they're using a nice proper force on it, which is not fast, which isn't blunt. It's just a nice force to push it back. And that gives you a better result. Now, the other way that people do it is essentially it's the same way, um, but they're doing both methods, but very lightly, very precision, like a craftsman. Now, most of the time, the machine will be fine. So how do they check if the wheel is proper? Well, if you look at the invoice, they talk about those measurements. Well, what happens is that they put the wheel on a, on, a, on a certain machine, something that could hold it. And what they do is they check the run out. And what the run out does is it just draw a circle in your hand, right? And what happens is that the run out measures um, any part of the circle that is not correct, like that it's, that it's out, of, out of shape, that it's not correct. And what happens is that they're turning the wheel, they're checking the run out of the wheel, right? They're checking it. And then when they feel, they, they feel a high spot or something like that, they're like, all right, that, so, you know, this is an area that needs to be fixed. And once they get the run out correct enough, and once they get that fixed enough, then the wheel is kind of back to its original shape. There is a tolerance that they're shooting for it. And essentially they're getting the wheel back into a nice, awesome tolerance where the wheel can be balanced, the wheel is in, in safe and riding condition, and everything's good. So essentially, that's how they repair a wheel. I know it's pretty straightforward. I didn't know this, so I hope this information was really cool for you. And um, I thought it was really cool for me. So we thought it would be fitting to end the video by showing you a walk around of our new Vogue GTC wheels on the Supra. Again, huge shout out, huge thank you to Woody's Wheelworks in Denver, Colorado. If it wasn't for them, I would have a set of wheels sitting in the corner of a garage. Uh, that somebody scammed me for, but they were able to take a bad situation and turn it into good. So I'm super, super happy about that. So without further ado, let's uh, show you the new wheels. And guys, thank you for watching the video. I uh, hope you guys learned something and uh, we'll see you soon.